start. What is the first arcade video game? It's hard to imagine what the world would look like today if video games didn't exist. But years ago, video games were limited to computer programmers and a few people with access to computers. Today, you can play video games almost anywhere, from consoles to computers and even handheld devices. This is possible partly because of the work of Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney, who created the first arcade video game in 1971. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll talk about Computer Space, which is the first arcade video game, as well as the first commercially available video game. And if this is your first time here, subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification so that you'll be the first to get notified when we upload our next video. Computer Space is the progenitor of the successful video game industry today. The idea for this game was conceived by Nolan Bushnell, who worked as an electrical engineer at Ampex. In 1969, Bushnell had the opportunity to see Space War running on a PDP-6 computer, and he got the idea to recreate this game on a smaller computer. He shared the idea with his co-worker Ted Dabney, and this gave birth to a new partnership called Syzygy Engineering. Under this newly formed partnership, Bushnell and Dabney worked with Nutting Associates to build the first commercial video game. The game made its debut on October 15, 1971 at the Music Operators of America trade show in Chicago. As the first coin-operated video game, Computer Space was housed in a futuristic fiberglass cabinet with a Starfield background and displayed on a standard black-and-white General Electric vacuum tube television. So how do you play this game? Although this game doesn't seem interesting by today's game standards, it was far more sophisticated than anything before it. Computer Space pitted a player-controlled rocket ship against two flying saucers in a two-dimensional starfield. The cabinet has four main control buttons to maneuver the rocket ship and shoot missiles. The first button allows the player to fire missiles one at a time. The second button is for thrust, which propels the ship in whichever direction it is pointing. The last two buttons rotate the ship either clockwise or counterclockwise. During play, the player-controlled rocket ship and the two saucers would appear on a two-dimensional plane with a backdrop of a starfield. The saucers shoot at the player while gliding across the screen in a zigzag formation in tandem. The goal of the player is to avoid the incoming fire and shoot back at the saucers. Each time your rocket was hit by a missile, the screen flashes white, and when you hit one of the saucers, it momentarily disappears from the screen and appears again. The total playtime of the game ranges from 60 seconds to 150 seconds, which is displayed on the screen along with the scores. To win this game, you must skillfully maneuver your rocket ship to avoid fire from the saucers and score more hits at the end of the playtime. If you score more points than the machine-controlled saucers, you are awarded a free round of gameplay. Although Computer Space would go on to sell about 1,500 units, it didn't perform as expected by Nutting Associates. So Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney eventually broke up with Nutting Associates and incorporated Atari. At Atari, the two created Pong in 1972, which was a massive commercial success and the start of the computer video game industry. What was the first video game you ever played? Drop your answer in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. Thank you for watching. Game over.